gradients can be used with custom shapes in Photoshop in many different ways. And I'm just going to now show you how to quickly combine gradients using shapes. Now, I'm just going to go to Photoshop CS6 and I'm just going to go to the shapes tool. I could, of course, pick a custom shape tool. I'm just going to go with a polygon tool. I'm going to create a star design. It's just a basic star design. Just quickly. And I'm going to apply it as a shape. So there's options here, shape, path and pixels. Now, the key thing for uh, applying gradient overlay is to apply it as a shape, not use the pixels. So I'm just going to quickly create a design there. Now, see it as a layer, just comes up over here. And there's it a layer. You can go to the uh, layer, layer style, and I'm just going to add a gradient overlay. Now, there's a selection of gradients here. They're from graphicextras.com, along with selection here. You can place gradients. I could choose another gradient file. There's a whole selection of different gradients. They're in, available in a bundle set, 32,000 different uh, gradients. You can uh, find them on the website. And the graphic extras one. Just going to select that one. Click open. It loads it. And just this design there. So right, I've just got a basic design. It's just a sort of colour design of all different, uh, all the way through the purples and uh, pinks. Now, done that. Click OK. And I'm going to create another one because I want to actually combine these uh, shapes. So I'm just going to go to Layer, Duplicate Layer. Just create another one. And at this point, you'll see multiple multiple polygons. Right. After that, I'm actually going to now do, go to the polygon layer. I'm just going to quickly click on that, bring up the layer style. And this is for the second one. This is the actual top layer. So I'm just going to now change a few settings so you can actually see the underlying layer. Now, I want to actually rotate this one. I actually want it to be at a different angle. It's linear at the moment. So I'm just going to set that to zero. And now just go up to the blending options. And I'm going to blend interior effects as group. Now that's the key thing. So you can actually see the underline. So I'm just going to click that to be on. So you can just see that there. And now I can just go to blending modes and I'm just going to go with darken. You actually see the design there. Of course, as you've got the actual gradient selected here, you can actually, I'm just going to go back to it in a few seconds, actually. I'm just going to, or use difference. Another one, there's a more sort of oddball colour one. You can create a very weird three-dimensional effect using this sort of a 3D weird coloured star. So I'm just going to go back to the gradient and, I'm, and I can now actually just move not moving the star, I'm actually moving the, the actual thing. So you can actually get very unusual different colour. Of course, at this point, you can also change the, the actual gradient. So I'm just going to select that, select a different one. Of course, as there's thousands of different gradients to choose from, you can actually go, I'm just going to go and select another one. So let's go down. Uh, that one. Click open. And of course, I remember all 32,000 of them, unlikely. So uh, if you actually want to, you can, of course, quickly, easy change the name to something more memorable than uh, just a, a brief description as I've just applied in there. So I'm just going to select that one. And you can see now, of course, again, you can move it around. You can create unusual different color effects that way. And you can also change the option to radial. Move the center of the, uh, create different color schemes there as well as Reflected or Diamond. There's a few options. That's the one pity with uh, Photoshop. It doesn't come with that many different styles. It'd be really great if there were a few more styles than that. There's lots of, uh, I think if you've ever looked at an application called Sumo Paint, that comes with a whole selection of different gradients. But again, like I say, you can actually extend each of these gradients, applying different effects, warping the designs, etc. So you can extend them a bit more, but uh, it is pity that they've never really added any new additional gradients but anyway that's a quick and easy way of combining different stars and of course you don't have to stop there you could actually create maybe multiple different stars so you can have say 10 different stars blend all those different stars together with different color effects to create some really extreme color designs star or any other shape so you could like I say use a custom shape 
There's many custom shapes on graphic extras as well. Click OK at that point. And again, let's like say you can actually move the star, of course, but at the moment it's obviously on top of the previous star. 